Hey Taurus, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading for January, January 1st through the 7th. I'll just say the beginning of January. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying your holiday season with your loved ones. I'm going to see what's going on in you guys' love life. Uh, this is general. It won't resonate with every Taurus out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. And your extended bonus reading will be up on Vimeo. I will also include that in the description box. All right, let's jump right into your reading. So this is the Celtic Cross, and this is going to give me a snapshot of what's going on. And then your extended reading will look at your person's energy. How do they feel? What's on their mind? How do they view you? What's in their emotions and feelings that they're not saying? Their heart space and how they would like to move forward. It will also look at what's going on behind the scenes, roadblocks, challenging energies, and the outcome. Okay, so that would be the bonus extended reading. All right, let's get into your reading. Taurus, Taurus. What is Taurus going through right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this hits home, please, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. All right, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload weekly. All right, what's up with Taurus? Taurus, love life. What's the current energy surrounding Taurus at this time? For January, beginning of January 2021. Just a few days from the new year. All right, let's just take them all. Why not? Ooh, Queen of Cups in reverse, the Tower, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups in reverse. So I do feel, Taurus, that you're dealing with someone who you did love, but something got shooken up, okay? I feel like you had to take a step back. That Queen of Cups could be your energy. It could be an energy of another feminine um, person in the environment. Um, but ultimately, what I'm seeing is that this Tower, there was some kind of big shakeup. A shakeup, it could be a secret of revelation, a aha moment, an epiphany, okay? Some of you guys may have felt, if you're in this Queen of Cups energy, you felt that you couldn't love this person because you gave all of your precious love and they gave nothing to you in return. Some of you guys are choosing to love this person from afar. I feel like you've given up. You are protecting your heart space. Um, protecting your heart in general. I feel like you guys are, are just holding back. The Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups reverse is your person's energy. I do feel like someone is definitely very much stressed about this, okay? They certainly know that they've they ruined an opportunity here with you with that Five of Cups. There certainly could be a lot of regrets and remorse of the situation here, all right? I usually don't take that many cards, so I'm just going to take it one at a time yeah eight of cups of earth someone in your life Taurus wants to return to you okay they may have left you or you may have left them but I feel like you guys are still emotionally tied to each other in some way someone has not truly gotten over you Taurus and that five of cups that was trying to come out prior to me starting the spread is someone having a lot of thoughts regret remorse feeling guilty as hell guilty as hell all right, and the Eight of Cups of Verse is wanting to come back, wanting to revisit a situation. What's crossing that is the moon. So whoever this person is, they're not speaking their truth. They're holding back. They're repressing how they really feel about you, Taurus. This is someone who could be very secretive, okay? I feel like it could, be, it could be very unclear how this person feels about you because they don't tell. I get this person does not tell at all. I also feel like whoever you're dealing with, they could have been doing things behind your your back you may have felt that there were always secrets and that could have been the reason why someone decided to let go and leave Taurus. i do feel your person definitely was in a mysterious energy you didn't really know what their intentions were with you things were very unclear and also the direction of the connection was very unclear some of you guys are dealing with a cancer a pisces a scorpio what happened in the recent past, Spirit? What happened in the recent past with this connection? Yeah, things got stuck. Hangman, Piscean energy. I feel like whoever this person is, you probably decided to let this go because nothing was moving, right? They, they probably had you in a stalemate energy. They weren't really taking real action. They weren't really being upfront and honest with that moon card. You, you, you felt something was being hidden from you something here was being done behind closed doors without you knowing there's something here that just was not moving is what i'm seeing ultimately okay and there definitely was secrets so on your mind taurus regarding this person 
Ooh, you guys are manifesting. Some of you guys are manifesting for 2021 new love, right? <laughs> Some of you guys are healed and you're overcoming this and you're moving forward in your life. You guys are bringing a lot of good positive energy back into um, your life here. The magician is creating new beginnings, opportunities. All right, so you guys feel very powerful. Gemini energy. What's in the foundation with this person? Ooh, they're hurt. Three of swords. So your person, um, for one, could have been dealing with another person, a third party, right? Um, but I do feel like they're having a difficult time letting go, overcoming this, moving on. That three of swords can be the energy of cutting, severing ties, accepting, or, or feeling at a loss, okay? Um, I do feel like your person is still actively overcoming that or still trying to move on. I feel like your person never thought that you would let them go. They felt like they could probably have kept you in this hangman energy for as long as they want it but i feel like you guys had different plans give me another card here for the three of swords gemini a libra aquarius yeah ten of swords they never thought that this this would come to an end right this is someone who did not see an ending here i feel like <laughs> that's where this connection was going but they didn't want it to end they felt it was perfectly fine which is keeping you stalled keeping you stuck right? You giving your love to them and them giving nothing in return, right? Very unclear, very, I'm getting a lot of deceptive energy with this person, but ultimately this is someone who certainly could have caused this betrayal, okay? Caused some kind of betrayal ending, but that's not really what they wanted, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Someone was playing stupid with you, Taurus. Mm -hmm. What's coming into the moment here? What's coming into the moment? Okay, so your person is not talking right now. We got the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is someone who refuses to communicate. There is something to be said, right? This is someone who's like holding their tongue. They also could be a little mean. If there is communication, it could be some nasty arguing back and forth or verbally. You know, this person could say mean things or they could act very cold and very distant. That Knight of Swords in reverse definitely either with, withholds information. Okay, they also could be a liar, but um, also could be a little bit snappy and mean with their communication, very sharp. They think with their head, not with their heart. So they can come off as insensitive sometimes. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know? We got the Justice in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. And Taurus, you felt something here was so imbalanced. This person certainly could have did things that they didn't, Things weren't balanced. They weren't equal, right? They didn't put you first. And ultimately, I feel like the tables are turning here. But Taurus, I feel like you stood in this energy for too long. You allowed this person to take advantage of you and treat you poorly. And they were perfectly fine with it until you guys may have decided, you know what? I'm going to let this go and manifest. Let's see Taurus's energy. And then we're going to clarify everything. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are working... Um, very de um, hard on your career, okay? It also, let me see, the Eight of Pentacles, is this definitely is the energy coming towards you. It also could be for this person. Yeah, the wheel. Didn't I say tables are turning? The wheel, there's some kind of change that's being taken place here in the connection. And I really think it's because, Taurus, you, you know your power, okay? Some of you guys are very spiritual. I'm getting, like, light workers here, tower readers. That magician card, you guys are creating your a new and... A new beginning for yourself okay a new path um let's see your energy we got the uh page of cups in reverse some of you guys this person may um wanted to apologize but you guys are not interested in it they feel like you're holding back they feel like you've actually gone cold on them or you're no longer this like giving gentle warm soul like they feel that you've kind of taken your energy back they feel it energetically for sure Whoever you're dealing with, they feel like you're no longer this loving being that they used to. They, they can't go to you for their love now because Taurus, you've taken it back. It, it doesn't belong to them. King of Swords, reverse. Yeah, you guys are definitely um, not talking to this person at all. And I feel like they refuse to talk. But I think it's because they know they did you wrong. Your person certainly could be working on their finances, their money, um, working on themselves and that wheel is saying that they need to that they're finally realizing that something's got to change in their life they can't keep doing what they've been doing ace of swords here there's a lot to be said but your person is not saying a damn thing that's what i'm seeing here they really want to tell you the truth about something 
But what I'm seeing, we got all the swords that's coming out in reverse. We got the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the King of Swords in reverse. So what I'm seeing is that your person is trying so hard to hold back and play off like they really ain't got nothing to tell you, okay? Your person really is affected by this separation, this breakup, this betrayal, whatever, and they refuse to speak their truth. But... The truth is, is that they really have a lot to say, the Ace of Swords. So let's see how this ball plays out. I'm going to clarify, and I'm also going to extend your reading, of course, on Vimeo. So be sure to check that out. How does your person feel? Let's take them. All right, we got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So I do feel, Taurus, you wanted something like a relationship with this person. You wanted something real. You wanted this person to be around you, to be there for you. Um, you actually saw partnering up. And even if it wasn't like a full commitment, you wanted to know that you guys were working toward that. And I feel with that Moon card, deceptive. De deceptive. <laughs> deceptive, right? Um, this person wasn't clear on what they wanted. You were just like hanging around, waiting for this person to make a decision with that hangman energy until you decided to drop it with that two of pentacles because you weren't going to be played around and toyed with. And that two of pentacles, you guys were going back and forth. You could have been, I mean, juggled between another person here with the three of swords in their energy. And you guys decided, you know what? I know better than that. I know better than that, right? And a lot of you guys have decided to break away, okay? Let me get a card for that moon. What's that moon about? What are they so secretive about? Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So that's your energy, Taurus, right? But what I'm seeing is that they were they were holding back on, on, on committing to you, right? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone, typically she is married, but in reverse, this is a lack of a marriage, um, commitment issues, disloyalty unfaithfulness okay dishonesty i feel like this person also expected a lot from you but gave you nothing in return so this person again didn't put you first there could have been another person in the environment which explained why they were non-committal but ultimately they weren't giving you the stability they weren't committed to you and just you and that secret that moon is right under that so it's telling me that they were not really open about it they it's like they knew that they didn't want to commit but they didn't want to tell you that because they knew you'd leave that's what i'm seeing now why is the hangman here here. why is the hangman here it kept you stuck um five of swords and you guys have been fighting this you've been perhaps fighting this person getting them to take some kind of action towards you because you guys were stuck and you were tired of being stuck and that five of swords is telling me that you guys probably vocalized it to this person many times but they did nothing they chose to do nothing about it why is the magician card here Ooh, the tower. Didn't the tower come out in a pre-shuffling too? See, a shake-up until things got shooken up. Scorpion energy, and then you guys decided to manifest because you guys know what you bring to the table, and you're not going to allow this person to give you, like, peas and carrots. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But the tower, honestly, this is the shake-up. This is what you've been avoiding for so long, Taurus, but you have to go through this change because you guys are realizing that you bring so much more to the table and you are manifesting now. You're creating a new path for you, a new opportunity and love. So something in 2021 could certainly be coming to you because you guys are in the right mindset. You're down the right path and you're not allowing someone to just bring you down in the gutter with them okay so that tower you guys are going through it right now um i also feel like your person could be avoiding you with that tower in reverse and the knight and king of swords in reverse this person is avoiding telling you something or talking to you but i also feel like they know they see that you are on to something right you, you know your worth you're moving on and they have nothing to say they can't stop you now because you've taken back your power they have no power and hold over you anymore taurus all right the three of swords what's going on in your person's energy they're definitely affected by some kind of breakup or breaking away of ties here. We got that Ten of Swords and ending a betrayal. They never thought that you would do this. They never thought you would actually get away. So yeah, Eight of Pentacles, they're, they're working on something. What is this Eight of Pentacles about? They may be acting on working, like, acting like they're very busy on their on the projects or their career, their money. Why is it Eight of Pentacles? Some of you guys, they want to put in some kind of energy and work into this still. Let's clarify. 
Ooh, stalemate. Two of swords. So your person is definitely a little bit stuck after what's happened, the tower, the separation, the breakup, whatever you guys are going through right now. The two of swords is telling me that they have a decision to make, right? They're not talking just yet because they're trying to make a head of a heart decision. What do I do? Um, how do I move forward? But ultimately, this is someone who is definitely trying to find a way. Um, I feel like they can be coming up with a strategy or plan with this eight of pentacles on how to put effort here, how to create or build a foundation here with you but i do feel like this person certainly is um hurt okay three of swords but they they may have caused this hurt themselves i feel like they actually caused this betrayal so what they heard about <laughs> all right the knight of swords in reverse what are they not speaking about they're not communicative at all during this time they are some of you guys they may just be lying to you about things or they could be very nasty with their words here What's this? Mm, the Knight of Pentacles. But they're working. They're working on bringing some kind of stability. So your person is not talking right now. But what I do want to come in with some Knight of Pentacles energy, right? Coming to you with some kind of offer, stability, something long term to build something back up. Because it was very unbalanced. And that's what that justice in reverse is about. You you felt like this person wasn't reciprocating. They wasn't giving you their all. Yeah, and you pulled back. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys, you feel like they lied to you about something. They lied to you about being married or get, being legally separated. That's for some of you guys. Why is the wheel in the Eight of Pentacles here for this person? Three of Wands. Okay, so your person is waiting on something. They're waiting for the times to change. They're waiting for some kind of change or something to, to move forward, okay? So if they cause this betrayal, this heartbreak, the tower, right? They're realizing that, the, well, they need to change for one, right? But they also, I feel like they're giving you time to heal, to move on, okay? There's something about time that has to pass because your person is not communicating right now, but I get the sense that they're waiting for the right time. With that wheel and a three of wands or something about waiting for three months, waiting for three days, three weeks, something, some of you guys, hell, three years, all right? Um, that's what I'm seeing. There's something that's out of your hands and your person feels it's out of their hands as well but there is something moving in the right direction here but they're definitely waiting for the ships to come in here with you they also think that you're upset i saw the queen of swords in reverse okay you could be in that queen of swords in reverse energy king and queen of swords divine partners here right um but they feel like you're pissed as hell because that queen of swords is typically <laughs> pissed um angry ten of cups is here wow so your person is waiting for their ten of cups with you they're waiting to come back and have some kind of togetherness harmony unity in a family some of you guys you may have children together and they're wanting they're waiting for the family to come back together they're waiting for an opportunity to end some kind of separation here with you but you guys aren't talking and i feel like while they're not talking they're strategizing though right they're trying to build something back up let's get another card here they have a lot to say but they don't want to say it just yet they're holding back for sure yeah, look at that. They're wanting to bring justice back. Balance back to a situation where there isn't any. So your person is working on um, balancing the scales, right? Um, bringing some kind of resolution, okay? The justice can also be reconciliation, okay? A revival, a revelation here. So something is definitely coming together. Some of you guys are going through some kind of legal matter. If you are, it's going in your favor. That justice card is um, in the upright direction for your reading Taurus and there's truth coming so I do feel like there's going to be some breakthrough of truth but also it's going to it's going to bring balance back to the situation here with this person let me get one more card here and I'm going to extend your reading over to Vimeo how does your person feel what's going on in their mind how do they view you what's in their feelings and emotions that they're not saying because this person is not saying a lot at all and how do they want to move forward as well as what's going on behind the scenes. The high priest, the hierophant. Yeah, there's some kind of, wow. This person is seriously trying to work on some kind of commitment here, okay? Taurus, that's your energy. We've got justice, Libra. There's something coming together, okay? They're trying to be committed to, I guess, the process, committed to um, this connection in some way. Justice bringing balance back to the situation and truth and clarity. Ace of Swords. All right, so Taurus, I hope that resonated for you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to go over to Vimeo now. And also, if you want a personal love reading, check me out. All right, you guys, take care.